In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, everyone and their dog. Now, this is a funny phrase that we use to talk about a situation where there are a lot of people. Maybe there's a new store opening in town, and when I go there, it's really crowded. I could say, wow, everyone and their dog is here. It doesn't actually mean that people brought their dogs. It just means that there's a lot of people, that it's very, very crowded. I might come home and Jen might say, how was the store opening? I could say it was so crowded. Everyone and their dog was there. So it's just a funny way of saying that there are a lot of people. The second phrase I wanted to teach you today is the tail wagging the dog. Now, normally a dog wags its tail. The tail doesn't wag the dog, but if there is a situation in life where someone is controlling the situation who doesn't have the authority or power to do it. We say that the tail is wagging the dog. You'll sometimes see this with parents with little kids. Sometimes little kids actually control what their parents are doing. They make their parents buy them candy. They make their parents get them everything they want or they have what we would call a fit. And so we would in that situation say that the tail is wagging the dog. Sorry, mosquitoes are out in force. Even on uh, October 5th, there are mosquitoes out here. So to review, when you say that everyone and their dog was somewhere, it simply means that there were a lot of people there. And when you say that the tail is wagging the dog, when you say the tail wagging the dog, it means that uh, the person who shouldn't have power or authority is actually controlling the situation. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. And I have to warn you, this is the longest comment I've ever read, and it's from Sabrina. We don't teach to get rich, but to enrich others. To all teachers, happy Teacher's Day. Teaching is the most noble profession in the world. It serves as the pillar of our society since it institutes other professions as well. Every fifth day of October, we celebrate World Teacher's Day, a day where the struggles and hardships of our teachers are, teachers are appreciated and rewarded. Being a teacher will never be easy because teaching will never be their sole task. Even the things that aren't listed in their job description, they do because of their love and passion. There are times when they will get tired, but after a little rest, they will continue to move on and promote the future of their students. And my response was very simple. Thanks, Sabrina, for these words of understanding and support. Yeah, thank you for that. I think teachers, depending on what country you live in, I think teachers for the most part are appreciated. Um, and I do thank you for that. I don't find the job to be too challenging, um, uh, but I have been doing it for quite a while. But thank you for the appreciation. What I do have to say and what makes me smile is that one thing I didn't realize would happen when I became a teacher on YouTube is that people would wish me Happy Teacher's Day quite often. Because if you look on Google, if you search for Teacher's Day, there's actually different teacher's days in different countries around the world. So every few weeks, someone will wish me a happy teacher's day. And it makes me smile and it makes me feel really good about the job I do. I think in a lot of countries, it's on October 5th or October 3rd. Um, but when I looked on Wikipedia this morning, I could find teacher's days in May uh, and in other months of the year as well. And it just kind of made me realize why every so often people start wishing me happy teacher's day because it's not the same day in every country so sabrina thank you for that comment thank you for the kind words i will keep doing my job the best i can i love doing it i love doing it in the classroom i love doing it here on youtube i hope all of you are having a good day i'll see you in a couple days with another short english lesson bye